Hello. The ASRS Working After Retirement or Return to Work form provides retirees an efficient way to notify us that they are returning to work for an ASRS employer. This form also provides ASRS employers the opportunity to review and verify the termination date, intent of employment, and certify the employment the retiree will have with the employer. The form also indicates which action the employer must take in terms of remitting contributions or alternate contributions. In this video, I will walk you through the process you should follow when reviewing and processing return to work forms. You must be a registered employer user on the ASRS Secure Employer website and have the Return to Work Specialist role assigned to you in order to review pending Return to Work forms. Let me show you how it's done. Visit the ASRS website at www.azasrs.gov and click on the Employers tab at the top of the page. Click on Secure Employer Login. On the Employer Login and Registration page, type in your login ID and password, then click Login. After you have arrived at the Employer homepage, select Review Return to Work Forms from the left-hand navigation menu under Other Operations. From this page, you can view pending forms or those that you have rejected and sent back to the employee for correction. Click the appropriate button to choose Pending or Rejected Forms, and the records will display. To view a specific form, click on the date at the beginning of the row to select the record you wish to view. Under Member Information, check the termination date. In some cases, the termination date has been provided by the retired employee and may be modified by the employer if it requires correction. Under Intent of Employment, please review the employment start date, hours per week, and length of employment to verify that the retired employee's form accurately reflects the intent of their employment. Beneath the intent of employment, the action required field will tell you if alternate or active contributions are required, depending upon the election made by the retired employee to either continue or suspend their pension. Under employer determination, if the intent of employment is accurate, then select I approve this RTW form and it will be sent to the ASRS for review. If the intent of employment is not accurate, then select I reject this RTW form and it will be sent back to the retired employee for correction. Please indicate your reasons for rejecting the form under Notes and Comments to the Employee. This information will not be provided to the ASRS and will only be visible to the retired employee when they log into their personal account and review the information. The data used to determine the retired employee's status is displayed here for informational purposes. Finally, review your information and check the employer certification box to verify that your information is current and valid and that the information on the form has not been falsified. In some cases, you will see an additional question regarding elected officials. This will not appear on every RTW form. If it does appear, click on either yes or no to answer the question. Clicking Submit will send the form to either the ASRS for review and processing or to the retired employee for correction. Once the form is submitted to ASRS, you will not have access to it, so please save the information or print a copy for your records if you need to retain the information. Now you know what it takes to review and process Return to Work forms. Check out our other employer video tutorials and guides to help you navigate your ASRS employer responsibilities.